What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Uh, today we got a little laying in white type of hunt today. Today I'm hoping that we can get on some green heads in the field laying in white using primarily snow goose decoys. Today we're hunting with my buddy Gerald. You haven't seen him in a long time. He hasn't been on it. Well I guess he was on the two, two pigeon videos ago. He was on that one. Uh, but He's got an awesome little idea. Uh, we're gonna do some trafficking today. This is a traffic hunt, big white spread, sunny day, south winds, so the birds will be looking into the sun. The white is gonna be extra bright, mostly sunny. Bluebird day. Uh, this is the way to do it right here. You can attract all the attention in literally 10 square miles with having a big white spread out on a sunny day, south wind. Let's hope it works. I'm hoping to get down some mallards today. That's what I really want to do. Uh, we'll probably smash the geese, hopefully, but hopefully we get some mallards on the ground. But if you haven't checked out all the white gear from duckswaterfowl.com, I will link it all down in the description below. Go down there, pick you up something. Whenever you do, it does help the channel. You guys, buying ducks gear supports the channel, and I appreciate it. Well, we got her set up. It is sitting right at 6.35 in the a.m. And we got her up. This is Gerald and Jim's decoy spread. And we have up roughly 70 dozen, right at or right under 70 dozen. 10 dozen full bodies up front, 10 dozen dive bombs up front. And then out back, we got a ton of white. And right here where we got the lay down chairs, we got the tall white socks to lay under. He did. That boy got Dusty McAllen, old, old Gerald. I got a. He he gone. Dusty McAllen? Yeah. <laughs> That's what a Dusty McAllen is. I don't know. <laughs> First shooting of thy day, and uh, check it out. We got a pair of Mallies. Look at that. Good looking guy there. They're looking really nice. Getting to be that time of year, huh? Don't you know? Don't you know? Well, it is 8 o'clock and the roof's finally lifted. Uh, we shot the two ducks, haven't pulled the trigger since, but the birds finally up right on the dot. 8 o'clock. <laughs> Three, giving it up, right foot, right foot. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I missed every shot. Awesome shooting, Bobby. Way to go, bud. Uh, well, first geese to the field. Uh, that group liked it. They liked it. Oh, God, that speck locked up. Right here. Guys. Shoot him. Nice. Oh God, watch oh out. Oh God, watch out. <laughs> yee -hee -hee. Well, nothing like almost getting demolished in the face by a goose, you know. <laughs> uh, spec down, that was wild. You uh, you put on the spec call and that bird went boof. Yeah. Just locked his wings back and <laughs> circled once and gave it up. Uh, that was That was amazing, that was yummy. If you guys are liking the video so far, you know what to do. Hook a brother up, smash the old thumbs up button. You know, it helps.
Left side, shoot him, guys. Oh! Oh! I didn't, want, I didn't want to shoot over anybody. He's going to go down hard. Bam! <laughs> well, one down, one down. We got two. Oh, we got two. My bad, my bad. Two down. Uh, that would have been over their head. That was a left side shot. So uh, I encourage you guys, if, if, if you pull up just like that and you're going to shoot over each other's head, just don't. You know, let them do their work on, on each side. So good shooting, boys. They're coming back, they're coming back. Oh, I didn't shoot the best. I know I smacked one. Well, good call. Good call. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Load up, boy. Load up. Gerald's a beast on the old lesser call, man. Well, it is 9.30. Uh, just had a group come and shooting wasn't the best yet again. I'm not shooting very well. I shot good on the first two mallards that came and now, oof, I am a struggle bus out here. But this field, uh, when we traffic this field, we've always had good luck from about 9.30, 10.30, 11 with the birds that are returning back to the roost. It's kind of one of them last minute little buffets. It gives them an option when they're headed back to the water. We're set up close to the water and uh, it's one of them things they either do it or they're not. So that's what we're hoping for now. We'll see what happens. He's a beast. Well, we are pulling out of the field. Short hunt, I know, right? It wasn't a short hunt, it was a long hunt. It's now 11.02 and uh, just wasn't action packed. This field, every time I hunt this field, uh, it's one of them fields you, you really have to hunt with some weather. Uh, now there has been a handful of times, Gerald, the guy that was calling, that is Gerald if you have never met him. He's been on a bunch of videos, but uh, he is a beast on the call, not gonna lie. Gerald and I did a hunt here about two years ago and we destroyed them when they were coming back to the roost. Now the roost is eh, about a mile and a half north of us so they traffic right over on their way back and it's that last second just hey man you want a quick bite before you go back to water all day you know and a lot of times south wind like today extra sunny bluebird skies usually it works a lot better but they didn't start trickling back to water until a lot later than we figured. So, yep, yep, and Bobby's gonna come at you with a million excuses. But Jordan got a hold of me and he was like, Bob, I have a good feeling I got something on some traps. It should have been a good night. It was extra cold this morning, good wind. He was like, do you wanna go check uh, traps with me? So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go meet up with Jordan, go check a couple of his coyote sets Basically, I just didn't want to drop the video there. I mean, come on, we got to do something else. But if you like today's shooting, we did shoot, actually I did shoot both of those mallards right at the beginning of the morning over the white snow decoys, white, you know, hoodie, everything. 
Uh, the thing about it, guys, ducks love white spreads. They love it. They're attracted to it. You throw up a couple mojos in that bad boy, and you can smash the mallards. I'm telling you, field hunting mallards, if they're ever landing in the middle of a field and you're like, I don't know how we're going to hide, hide in white. Just do it. Put all that... Put, Put out all your white decoys if you have any. Put on white and lay down. Turn on your mojos and it should go good. Now we did figure that there was gonna be a lot more ducks show up, but they didn't, unfortunately. But it was fun. Well, we are here. I see what Jordan did here. He, uh, he pranked me a little bit. Not pranking, but you set me up for success is what you did. Yeah, I, I, I figured it'd be worth your trip. <laughs> Uh, you can pull up uh, the side of the road here is where we're parked. You can look out in the field and you can see a coyote and The coyote is trapped. That is correct. You can I mean he is plain as day man yep. You don't even have to roll up there to check your trap. You just go. Okay What I'm hoping is that the other trap has something because it's up against the trees. Oh, so you, you can't, can't see, see that it. Yeah, you so really if can't. I'm really really lucky I got a double but I'll, I'll take that right. I'll take one right we're gonna jump in the old festiva here. See yeah. how she does in a field. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're gonna burn her right across the old wheat field, boys. Oh, fire her up, Jordan. Fire her up. They fixed it, but they didn't fix everything. So using you know, the old penny still. I still got the penny. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'll put those keys there, you know, just in case. <laughs> Uses a penny to start the old festiva. Oh, here we go. Dude, I need a festiva. Dude. Do you know how much gas I'm gonna save again? I was driving that van for a while with a 350 in it. Oh yeah. This thing will eat in a week what that thing does in two days. Oh yeah. Boy, Jordan, these stalks hitting the bottom of it sound like something's coming through. I'm kind of afraid that it's gonna punch through. <laughs> wow. Well, he's not happy. I'm telling you that right now. It's a male coyote. He ain't happy. I don't know if I really want to show this on the uh, on the old channel. Oh, hear him! All right. What do you think about showing this on the channel? Will uh, YouTube like this, or quite not? Quite maybe I, not. As long as he's sitting like that, you won't have a problem with it at all. He okay. Oh man, look at this guy. He's intense. <laughs> he is intense. He yeah. He ain't happy. Look at him. He's just barking. Oh my goodness. This is my first time ever experiencing this. Now you remember when uh, we did that, the one with the coons? Yeah. Uh, this is where you really need to make sure you know where the trap circle is. Yeah. Because yeah. he will get you. Yeah. If you get close enough, he will get you. We get inside of that trap circle. He gon' he gonna bite. He gonna bite. Don't know if he might have rabies. He's a good looking male coyote. He's Crazy. a little dark though for a uh, for fur wise, but right. he'll do. So I got these cross staked, and when you catch a big animal like a coyote, mm -hmm. they I mean you can tell he's been working around, he's been trying to get away. Right. He'll pull these stakes up. out a little bit, they'll and so I mean not much. I mean but just that inch will right. keep my trap from setting nice in the bed. Gotcha. And so whenever I catch something big like this, you want to make sure that you hammer him back down, get everything set right. Because uh, if it's not set right, you're not going to catch again. Gotcha. Unless a real dumb one comes along. Right. That happens. Jordan's crazy good at trapping. Uh, this was your sixth dog, right? Seven. Five, five dogs. Five. So five dogs total this season for Jordan. Uh, first off, uh, if you guys like the mallard hunting this morning, some geese, some mallards, smash a thumbs up for that. But if you like the duck hunting, goose hunting, and the trapping together, smash a thumbs up for that. Let me know down below. What do you guys want to see next? Uh, Jordan did dispatch the coyote. Uh, I had him do that off camera uh, because YouTube, I've had trouble before with the coyote videos getting demonetized. So I really hope that this one doesn't happen. Um, but Jordan is resetting the trap here. He knows way more about trapping than I do. And mind you, I have never trapped a game like this, big game, small game. I've, I've never trapped anything but pigeons. So these are all Jordan's traps. I'm just tagging along. But if you guys haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, you need to. He does all sorts of videos like this. I will link it down in the description below. Well, Jordan's resetting the pan trap here. It is what it's called as a pan trap, right? It's a it's a coil spring. Coil, coil spring. spring. Very fresh at trapping. 
That's why I haven't done it by myself. I just tag along with Jordan and learn before I'm gonna do anything. You know what I mean? But uh, he's resetting it here. He's got a little trick with some zip lock he puts over it before he pans it. And what does that do, Jordan? Tell the people. The sifting is basically just makes a nice finder over the top of the set. That way it makes it all look smooth. And well, you no, before have big that, the, the zip lock. Oh, why do you put oh. the zip lock bag around the trap? Sandwich bag right here. Yep. These sandwich bags, I will put. So the reason I put a sandwich bag over the top of it is if when you sift dirt on top of your set, you don't want dirt going underneath your pan because if the pan can't go down, you can't catch anything. It'll right. go off. So this helps keep a huge area of space underneath the pan for lots of lots of drop of it and you, you catch more stuff that way. Right. Now Jordan was telling me they do have little sponges that you can put under them that prevents the dirt from getting underneath the pan. That prevents the pan from going all the way down. But his little Ziploc trick is pretty darn neat, not gonna lie. Basically just acts as a cover, doesn't let any dirt get underneath that pan. You can use correct terminology that time. It's a pan cover. Good <laughs> I'm job. Learning, I'm learning. <laughs> Well, on a scale from one to ten, how nice of a coyote was he? Uh, he's about a four. A four? Yeah. As far as fur-wise goes, oh, gotcha. he's not very heavy. He's a little dark. Gotcha. He could be a lot better fur-wise. As far as just a quality catch in Kansas, he's probably a six or a seven. Gotcha. That makes sense. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> Oh, well, just got done editing this video up, and I was like, huh, what's new? I forgot to do another outro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video is a lot different because I have never even experienced trapping a coyote. Now, again, these are all Jordan's traps that we're filming here. He's teaching me before I even go buy my trapping license before I ever set a trap. I don't like to go into things without knowing anything. Y'all know what I mean. But again, let me know if you want to see more of these videos. I love the trapping. It's very interesting. There's a ton to learn. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know a lot more about trapping than I do. But like I said at the end, please go subscribe to Jordan's channel. He has some amazing trapping videos up. He's been doing a lot of tips over there, teaching people his tips, his tactics, and how he does it. And he's trapped five coyotes already this season. But I'll link uh, Jordan's channel down in the description below. Uh, check this bad boy out. Check out that Mallard shirt from Ducks, boys. Oh boy. It's the new Ducks t-shirt of the month. Whenever you subscribe to the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month, it does enter you to win my boat. Just let me show you this one right here. Now, a lot of you know about it. A lot of you have subscribed already, but those of you that don't know, we are giving away this boat right here. Oh yeah, boys. Full duck boat, ready to go. Mud motor and all. Aluminum trailer, the whole nine yards. It comes as a package deal. All you got to do is subscribe to the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. It's our cheapest T-Shirt on the site at $14.99. Once every month, you get a one-off Ducks T-Shirt custom designed by us. These T-Shirts are not available on the site. You can't just go purchase them. You got to subscribe, and then they arrive in your mailbox once a month. $14.99. It's a heck of a deal. We put a lot of time and effort into these shirts to make sure they are awesome but if you guys want to sign up i will link the ducks t-shirt down in the description below remember this bad boy right here could be yours it's cheap and it's easy what can i say but be sure you subscribe if you have it and hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you on your mobile device when your boy uploads but until next time peace